How's it going pal? Week 7 of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed last week's efforts. The ad was looking pretty cinematic. We'll get Simon's input on it in a minute. He made my wife cry. We're going to talk about that Becca. Ads making people cry. I think that's uh, pretty She is good. heavily pregnant so maybe the hormones were also quite high. Yeah and she cried at an RSPCA advert immediately advert after. <laughs> <laughs> But good, good Sorry, effort. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the content. We're here. We're doing the same as last week. We're shooting, on, shooting another ad, and we're going to get into it. But first things first, we're going to run those titles. Simon. Howdy. You pleased with your efforts with last week's ad? Yeah, pretty chuffed. Bringing pregnant women to tears, mate. <laughs> That's what I do best. She just watched Moana with the boy. That's a tear jerker there. Cried during that one. <laughs> and then after watching your ad, uh, cried during an RSPCA advert on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine was literally in tears. Already. Totes emotion. Totes emotion. <laughs> But to be fair, she is eight and a half months pregnant. <laughs> We're already getting moved out of the shot. Look at that, my goodness, Becca. How beautiful is this? So much that we don't know where the stars are the shot. This week, we are shooting another ad. Last week's customer persona was the digital nomad. Got an awfully good beard, yeah. this Scott. I've seen better. Seen better, <laughs> ah, well. I've not touched better. <laughs> <laughs> this week's customer persona is a student. But Simon's getting those first scenes in the can, making use of Becca while she's here. She's about to leave, but look at that. So, what are we doing, Simon? Uh, we are filming down this street. Yeah, yeah. Scrolling around on the Instagrams. Mm -hmm. so and reaching for a charger reaching for a charge nice cool we'll see if emma can do a better job plugging in a phone than scott did last week scott took four takes i think in the end <laughs> we'll see how quickly you can master the art of plugging in a phone all right right moment of truth moment of truth no pressure right. two cameras and two folk watching <laughs> <laughs> oh nailed it first time simon first time, first time. oh scott terrible effort last week filming our leaving the flat sequence. These really, really nice flats in the West End of Glasgow, totally unattainable for students, fiendishly expensive to rent or buy, but directly opposite Glasgow Uni. So good for storytelling, good for continuity. Number 66, thanks for being in the film. Simon, like a ninja. Like a ninja doing those backward walking gimbal holding shots. Yeah. Nicely done. Take two. We've, we've had a stroke of luck. The uh, friendly Glasgow Uni Medical Building security guard has kindly given us an entire lecture room to film in. What a hero. And Simon is going to have to try and make this look like a full lecture theatre with two actors. Do you you can do it, Simon? Yes. <laughs> Your editing prowess will need to shine through, Simon. All right, so if you're pretending to just kind of listen to a lecture, I suppose. Face the front. <laughs> No chatting at the back. <laughs> right, quickly consulting the shot list. We need. We still need to get some fun B-roll of us scooting about on chairs. Yes, we do. I think we have to. 
Okay, quick race across there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get caught by security. Well, Simon's filming some vertical stories. Should maybe say who you are? Um, yeah, I'm Emma. I'm friends with Becca. Um, and I'm here today just helping these guys out with some things and want to show how much uh, I like their products and Amazing, yeah. nice one. So we're gonna cr quickly wrap up a couple more scenes and mm -hmm. I think we're done for the day, Emma. Okay, well, thanks for having me. Hey, no, thank you very much for helping us out. And uh, we're gonna pester you to come and do it again at some point. Okay. Nice right. one. <laughs> quickly wrapping up the last few scenes with Emma and Simon, getting some sh vertical shots for the gram. Then Simon and I will let Emma get on our way, we are going to dump memory cards and either one or two things is going to happen. Number one option is we're going to finish the voiceover for last week's ad and show it to you. Or number two, we're going to get a rough cut by this week's ad done and put that at the end of the video. So do you know what? Let's see how the afternoon pans out. Thank you very much Emma, you did an excellent job, really appreciate the help. I think the ad's going to look pretty awesome, right? It is, yeah. And not like. Glasgow Uni, my goodness, what a picturesque location to do a bit of filming. Look what's going on behind us. My goodness. Amazing. So, Simon, we're going to check what we've got in the can. We're pretty sure we've got everything. And then we're going to start recording this voiceover for last week's ad video. I head to somewhere quiet for recording. Probably your flat. And, uh, <laughs> and get cracking. Here we go. Let's do it. Onwards. Toodles. Right, we're back at Simon's flat, at the Edit HQ. We are dumping memory cards. We are indeed. And we're gonna record a voiceover. We are indeed. Brilliant, so we're gonna get me mic'd up, we're gonna watch the video a good few times, practice the script, and cut it over the video. We think that's the priority today, Simon. It is indeed. Finishing off that video. We're all set up, we're mic'd up, we're recording, let's go. And there we have it, voiceover recorded. It is. We're gonna cut it in over the top of last week's ad. We will. And we're gonna now show you what the ad looks like. Here it is. Bye bye. bye. We've all been there. Rudely awakened by the dustman. Out of bed, coffee made, and a scroll through your socials before heading off to work. And there it is. You've forgotten to charge your phone. Now, imagine being a child in a developing country. You've just walked 10 miles home in complete darkness, terrified the whole way. And when you get home, you desperately want to do your homework. But you can't. You live off-grid and have no access to electricity for light meaning, like every other night, you won't be able to do your homework. The need for power is universal. No one in this day and age can live without it. We solve both of these problems with our company, Power A Life. We sell the world's most empowering chargers, designed to charge any mobile device and the latest laptops all on the go. And for every single one we sell, we gift a free solar light to a child in a developing country. The impact you create for children whilst charging on the go is transformational. Kids can walk home safely from school and do their homework at night. Meaning you stay charged and power our life. Join our community and make a positive impact in the world. Visit poweralife.com.